Hey! So I wanted to give a little bit of an update on some of the stuff we did with the 2017 Appropriate Technology course. And I'll start with the Peter Vandenberg Batch Box from our, I think it's from our first Innovators event in 2014, if I remember right. Uh, but Peter built this beautiful stove and our, our lone welder was going full tilt on doors for all the different stoves, but he didn't quite get this door done that first year. And so this was the door for that first winter while they were trying out this big heater uh, with the carefully sized air intake, but it just had some boards screwed onto this refractory insulation. And at one point during the second Innovators event, it got run all night and the heat penetrated through that screw and it actually charred this board really badly. It started a fire after people had left the shop and luckily there was nothing around it to catch and so it just burned out. Um, but that's an example of why I don't really like using wood next to heat. <laughs> so, um, so then um, this door was built just fairly quickly by Tim Barker. Uh, because a frame wasn't built into the stove from the get-go, he ended up framing around the outside. Um, bolting into masonry is not always successful, especially around heat, you can easily get cracking. And so he built the frame all the way around and made this door. And then this year, um, one of our students sort of finished it out. The air opening is the same size as on that refractory board I showed you. Um, but sometimes coals would fall out of there, and so we've got now we've got a little box on here that allows the air in but doesn't let the coals fall on the floor. And then we also, we had exposed refractory board here, but sometimes the wood would fall against it or people would try to put in something that was too long and jam it, and it was kind of digging into that board, so now we have a little metal skin on the inside of that door as well. So, uh, we are rapidly approaching fully functional stove door for this batch box, which is what it takes to make a batch box work. While we're here, I also want to kind of do a little public service announcement about batch boxes. A lot of people are attracted to this model of rocket because it looks and feels like a wood stove. But the problem is if you assume it runs like a wood stove, then you will end up running it like a wood stove, which means it'll run really smoky, and, and then you'll get creosote in all the complicated heat collection stuff, which can be really dangerous and a pain in the neck to clean out. So, for those of you who may have heard of batch boxes and grabbed the numbers table and want to build one really quick, this is what should go in your owner's manual. Your air intake, right here, can you see that? And the slot in the back, which is called the port, which has a secondary air intake, those are really important for the clean burn. So as you load the stove and light the stove and reload the stove, it's really important that the wood never blocks those parts of the stove. They have to have full airflow and full gas flow as they're creating the clean burn. So Peter typically will cut his wood so that it's two inches from the back and two inches from the front of the stove. It's substantially shorter than the firebox. And that's one thing that a lot of people miss when they're trying to run these stoves for the first time. Um, Peter will start the draft with a little fire, little sticks and paper and whatever you use for tinder, not in the, the slot, not in the port, but just a little bit back from it. And when that fire is going well and the draft of the system is going well, then he'll load the batch. He's got a nice little filer in there so he knows it's going to catch and load the batch up to not more than like don't get closer to the top than two inches either. Leave a little bit of space all the way around the wood for those gases to flow like they're supposed to. And then you just shut the door and leave it. The batch burns for 45 or 50 minutes typically. It's a pretty regularized burn cycle no matter how big. You can load a half load or a full load and it's still 45. It just burns hotter if it's a full load. And that will keep it burning clean, which means you don't get the creosote, which means you don't have the danger of chimney fires and you don't have the clean out hassles that you would get with Chris. So when they're run, like Peter runs them, the batch boxes are incredibly clean burning. Um, but if you want a smoky wood stove, don't bother with the batch box, just get yourself a smoky wood stove. <laughs> so yeah, so that's Peter Vandenberg's batch box with appropriate door technology.